we know that if there is a page fault then that page has to be brought from the disk to a free frame in the main memory but if there is no free frame then a frame will have to be freed by replacing a page which is present in the main memory so which page should be replaced can be seen by using a page replacement algorithm in the previous video we saw the first in first out or the fifo algorithm in this video we will discuss the least recently used or the lru algorithm in this algorithm we will replace the page that has not been used in the most amount of time that means this page which has not been used for a for a sufficient amount of time that page will be replaced so that means with each page now we will have to associate the time of last use this is a good algorithm and it is frequently used why we say it is a good algorithm because generally it causes less page faults as compared to the other page replacement algorithms let us consider this reference string and we have a memory with three frames so this these are the frame numbers 0 1 and 2 so the first reference is for page 7 so this reference string is denoting the pages that are being referred to that means if a page 7 is being referred that means the address is lying on page 7 so if page 7 is referred currently we are assuming that all the frames are free so this frame is this page has to be brought from the hard disk to the main memory so this has resulted in a page fault so i'm showing all the page faults with an arrow so 7 is brought into the main memory and put in a frame the next reference is for 2 again a page fault brought to the main memory and put in one of the frames refer 3 again a page fault so 3 is brought and put in a frame next reference is for 1 now we have to see which page was not used in the recent past so if we look backwards we see that 3 has been used very recently 2 has also been used very recently and 7 was used for 7 is the page which was used very early compared to 2 and 3 so 7 will be the page that will be replaced so 1 has caused a page fault and has replaced page 7 next reference is for 2 2 is already there in the main memory so this is a hit 5 5 is not there in the memory so it causes a page fault now if we look backwards again 2 has been used very recently 1 has also been used recently and 3 has been used very early compared to 1 and 2 so that means 3 will be replaced by 5 next comes 3 again 3 has been replaced so it has caused a page fault again looking backwards 5 has been used recently 2 has been used recently 1 was the oldest page that was referred to so 1 will be replaced by page number 3 next reference is 4 looking backwards again 3 used 5 used recently so 2 will be replaced by page 4 and this has caused a page fault also next reference is for 6 again 6 is not there in the memory so a page fault looking backwards we see that 5 will be replaced by 6 now the reference is for 7 if we look backwards we see that 3 is the page that has been least recently used so 3 will be replaced by 7 and this has caused a page fault again now a reference for 7 again so this is already there in the memory so it's a hit now a reference for 1 so looking backward we see that 7 has been used recently 6 has been used recently 4 is the one which was least recently used 4 4 will be replaced by 1 and 1 has caused a page fault again reference for 0 so looking backwards we see that 
7 is used recently, 1 has been used, 6 is the page that will be replaced by 0 which has caused a page fault. So, 0, 1 and 7 are the pages which are there in the memory. Again a reference for 5, looking backwards we will see that 7 will be replaced by this page. So, 5, 1 and 0. Again a reference for 4, we see that page 1 will be replaced. So, 4, 5 and 0. Reference for 6, again a page fault. Least recently used page is 0. So, 6, 4 and 5. Again 2, so again a page fault and 5 will be replaced because it was least recently used and this is the status of the memory. If we count the number of page faults, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, this reference string caused 15 page faults using the LRU page replacement algorithm. How do we implement this algorithm? We can have a counter implementation for this. That means every page entry will also have a counter entry associated with it. And there will be a CPU, a logical clock which will be associated with the CPU. Every time a particular page is referenced, then whatever was the time in this logical clock, that, well, that time will be copied into the counter entry of that particular page. So, let us say these are the page numbers and this is the counter entry. So, let us say this 0 page is being referred to at time 7, page 2 was referred at count 5 and so on. Now, if page 2, so currently suppose let us say the time is 7 and this was the most recent reference and now page 2 is referred to again. So, this counter entry will now be changed to 8 which will be the current logical clock entry. So, whatever is the current logical clock entry, when that page is being referred to, that entry will be put into the counter entry. So, whenever a page now needs to be changed, so the counters, all the counters of all the pages will be examined and the counter with the least value will be picked up as the victim page. So, since 5 is the time which is at page 2, that means this was referred to very early on, this was least recently used. So, this will be the page that will be taken out. Now, for this the drawback of this kind of an implementation is that the whole table needs to be searched to find out which is the counter with the smallest value. Another implementation can be a stack implementation that means we keep a stack of page numbers. We can use a doubly linked list with the head pointer and tail pointer and whenever a page is referenced we will move that page to the top of the stack. So, that means that the most recently used page will always be at the top of the stack and the least recently used page will always be at the bottom of the stack. So, whenever we need to change or replace a page, we will use this page which is at the bottom of the stack and we will replace this page in the main memory. However, the updates are expensive because every time a page is moved to the top of the stack, pointers need to be changed. So, this update is expensive, but there is no search in the table to find a replacement. So, the tail pointer will always point to the bottom of the stack. And this will be the least recently, you pay, le recently used page which can be replaced to bring in another new page. So, let us see how the stack can be used to find the most recent page reference. Suppose this is the reference string. So, first we came, first 4 was referred. So, then 4 was put on the stack. Then 7 was referred. So, 7 was put on the stack. Then 0 was referred. 0 has been put on the stack. So, you can see that the most recently used page is 0 and the least recently used page is 4. Now, again there is a reference to 7. That means 7 is the most recently used page now. So, 7 will be brought to the top of the stack. 
when 7 is brought to the top of the stack, 0 will be pushed down. Now 1 is the most recently used page, so now it goes to the top of the stack. Next comes 0, so 1 will be pushed down now and 0 will be brought up to the top of the stack. Next reference is for 1, so again 1 will come to the top of the stack and 0 will go down, so now 1 is the most recently used page. If the page number 2 is referenced, since it is not in the stack over here we can see, so the second page will be at the top of the stack. Now again 1 is being used, so 1 goes up and 2 is pushed down, so this is the top of the stack showing the most recently used page. Again 2 will be brought up, so 2 has been brought up and 1 has been pushed down. Now there is a reference to 7. So 7 will come up and 2 and 1 other page numbers will be pushed down. So we can see that 7 is at the top of the stack and similarly when 1 comes, 1 comes at the top and 2 comes at the top again in the next reference. As can be seen, 4 was the page that was used earliest. So 4 is at the bottom of the stack and if we look backwards we can see after 4 comes 0, then 2, over here if we see then 7, 4, 0, 7, 1 and then 2. So whenever a page will have to be replaced, check the bottom uh, of the stack which is pointed to by the tail pointer and this page is the one which will be replaced.